for certain this is not a 3080 Ti open box, but rather this is a 3080 with Alpha Cool S Wolf all in one water block. This is Master Bamboo, and today we're going to cover the installation of the 3080 and 3090 water block. The first step would be take off the heatsink. For AIC based 3080 and 3090 cards, the very first thing you want to do is to take off the backplate. Some cards has screws on the I.O. shield, you want to take that off as well. With all the screws removed, you want to check to make sure there is no more screws that's binding the PCB and the heatsink. Then simply pry the PCB apart from the heatsink. Once the card is off the heatsink, you also want to remove the residual pads and also the thermal grease. You may also want to put the screws back together and then put the original heatsink all together and then put it away nice and safely. Once that's done, you probably want to clean the 3080 core very nicely to give it a really good shine. The compatibility can be checked on AlphaCool's website. Now open the box and find the manual and read the freaking manual. The S-Wolf is all-in-one series of AlphaCool's um, product line. Before you start, you probably want to take off the radiator from the water block just to make sure your install is nice and easy. Before you start, you almost always want to check to make sure the thermal pads are aligned correctly according to the manual. You also want to make sure you have pried off all of the protective film of the thermal pads. After the thermal paste is in place, you want to make sure to read the manual again to make sure all the screws and the spacer are in place. Again, according to the manual, the 3080 and 3090 has different thickness of the thermal pads. You want to make sure you find the right pads to apply to the correct graphic card.
the back plate should be installed vertically to avoid the pads to go sideways. You also want to make sure to use the original screws that came with the kit, so to avoid the puncture of radiator and ultimately avoid the warranty. Once the completed graphic card and the radiator are in place, you are ready to roll. And finally, don't forget the power cables for the graphic cards, pump, and also the fans, and most importantly, the RGBs.